Welcome everyone to another edition of Living Simply. Before I have some problems get this off, but we're going to be reviewing the 75th anniversary House of Capulet uh, by Romeo and Juliet by Famous. This is a limited edition uh, Toro, which you get the box that says 75th anniversary. Now, it's made with a Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, which is one of my favorites. It also is uh, Honduras, and um, the uh, other thing is, is it's got uh, Honduran and Nicaraguan fillers. So technically it's one of those cigars, and I've said it to you many times over, that it is uh, the best cigar on uh, the market for Romeo and Juliet next to the, um, the Anniversario. So... Let's kick the tires and light the fire, shall we? But first, let's go over it. It smells... Like a cedar trunk. And there you have it. Now let's do the dry test. And yes... And the wrapper's right here, so... It's like a creamy milkshake when I puff on the end, so let's kick the tires and light the fire, shall we? Anyways, the bottom line is Aaron enjoyed this, but he, I think he said he wanted to try the Montague more in Toro shape, but we never did because, well, as you all know, and it, we won't beat it. The horse dead. He died. Mm. So, as you all know from the past, I love this these uh, these cigars because they just have a creamy, creamy texture and uh, a butteriness about them, like you're just smoking pure cream and butter. I've never found but one cigar that tasted strawberries and cream, but that's beside the point. Creamy butteriness. My baby is sitting there wondering why is it on the bed in his little bed. So please excuse me while I pick my baby up and put him in his bed. Here we go. As you can see, his bed's right here, and this is Baby Moppy, our mascot. Hello, everyone. I miss my daddy so much. I got mommy to take care of me. Yep. Here you go, baby. Boop. So, Moppy is a beautiful, beautiful little uh, mixture of Los Opso Shih Tzu. He's a well-devoted friend, service dog, and more. So, you're having surgery next month. I'm more worried about Moppy being taken good care of than myself. After all... An animal does not know where his master is. I mean, look at Moppy. Moppy is still wondering where his daddy went. So, anyways, creamy butteriness. The Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, I always found Connecticut to be creamy. You want to puff Moppy? No, I'm not a cigar smoker. So... The bottom line is, this is just one fabulous cigar. So, um, with that said, everyone, I think we should focus on um, just fixing this little here so it burns even. As usual, you know, once it burns even and on a razor, you have no problem. Moppy is just a beautiful, beautiful little doggy. So, anyways. I want to say, you know, that this has just got cedar hints, um, buttery notes, creamy notes. A 
one of those cigars that I truly enjoy being a, uh, a, uh, what do you call it, a Romeo and Juliet. With that said, please wait for the halfway point. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, to the halfway point of this uh, Romeo and Juliet House of Capulet 75th Anniversary Toro. The Toro and Capulet and uh, Montague is our, is um, in Toro shape, but it's the same blend. All you do is you get a Toro shape, they drop a price of it, and that's it. Of course, baby Moppy here has just been kind of grumpy tonight. Creaminess is still there, but it's picked up in cedar and lajero strength, light pepper, and a little salt. Can I say it's a good cigar? Oh, yeah. I'm just honored to do this cigar for you all. And Moppy, of course, is honored to be grumpy because he heard his daddy on video and he's been just moody ever since. So. Anyways, with that said, everyone, please wait for the final third. Thank you. Welcome back to the final third of the Romeo and Juliet House of Capulet 75th Anniversary Cigar. It's been pretty much burning on a razor. It's got a couple wonkiness, but the reason it's wonky, and I'll tell you as I fix it, is that the wrapper decided to break up in the halfway to the third point, so to the final third. Well, Hero is being picked up and Cedar and that's all I'm picking up. I want to share something with you so give me one second for all of you because I got a story to tell you. So as I was sitting here Trying to get ready to drink some vodka. This is the stuff that Aaron held for 10 years, apparently, or when it came out. Doesn't say when it is. Dry fly. It's made from wheat vodka. Doesn't say what year. Oh, 2007. Seven, eight, nine years old. I decided, you know what? Sarah Eileen. The woman who set up the memorial for me and is taking care of the bill. My Aunt Aya, sweetheart, decided to tell me to go ahead and pop the cork. As I popped the cork, I decided just to pour me some vodka. Not even thinking about it. I've kept... Next thing you know, I'm looking at my glass and going... Eh. There's more vodka in here than I usually drink. Oh well. Then when I got done and was refilling my glass, I figured I'll just use the shot glass. Again, I pulled the cork and so because the vodka is a little loose and lower, this is batch number one, bottle 595. Hubby was saving it. I'm celebrating with his life with this vodka. So I drank it, and I'm sitting here thinking, hmm, it's not bad for wheat when you mix it with squirt. So, I have to get up at 8 or 7 in the morning tomorrow to meet up with the pastor to set up Aaron's memorial service. So... I talked to Amy tonight. Amy said she's still subscribed to Aaron. So I think I know who removed it. But I will check on it and get back to you all. Aaron was a man who loved his fine drinks and his fine cigars. So, like I said, this has got cedar hints and a um, little Lajero. Creamy buttery, buttery, creamy butteriness and cream is still there. So, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. I just don't recommend the 75th anniversary because it's just a Toro. You get a box that says Famous Smoke Shop 75th anniversary and then it says 
you know, the same thing, and then it says House of Capulet or House of Montague. You can get bigger, the tool is a smaller, and you're <coughs> saving money. With that said, please add and subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback, suggestions. If you smoke this or you have it, <coughs> please let us know. Just keep it, in the com uh, keep it in the comments. Just keep it clean as always ask, and keep it nice. Thank you, and enjoy every puff.